During this holiday season, give your loved ones a gift that keeps on giving for the rest of their life. Torpedo Pot is the only affordable self-growing flower pot that ensures your future food survival. All you do is add soil, seeds, and seedlings to the flower pot and watch your plants grow. Torpedo Pot can grow nutritious food in such abundance and variety that you can produce more food than your local farm. Visit www.torpedopot.com. Family, I'm your sister with the curly braids, Vicki Dillard, and I'm pleased to be a contributor here on African Diaspora News Channel. Now, family, I want you to listen to this uh, story. And as you come in, make sure you come in giving us a big thumbs up, thumbs up, and please share this broadcast. Now, family, I want you all to listen to this story right now. You all know that Joe Biden the other day got in trouble because he uh, they said it was a hot mic situation where he was calling uh, this reporter an SOB. Talk black to me. So... I want you all to listen to what Joy Reid's funny looking self does best. Now, I call Joy Reid a member of LOM, L-O-M, hashtag L-O-M. That's the League of Mammies. Now, let me have you understand something. When I'm call, when I'm dealing, calling out black people who are in these uh, mainstream media platforms, on these mainstream media platforms propped up by them, I call them out not only because they ride for white supremacist or white supremacy, but I also call these individuals out because they have a habit of mocking us, dogging us, disrespecting us, undermining us. This is what makes them enemies to us. And it's what makes them an invaluable tool by our open enemy, which is exactly why some of these uh, that you see, like Joe Reed, when they're in these prominent positions, it's not because you're so special. You're not groundbreaking in your coverage. You're not more intelligent than us. Is they vetted you enough to know that you will toe the line of white supremacy, Democratic, Republican talking points. They can trust you not to deviate from that. They can trust you not to go pro-black, black empowerment. Talk black to me, somebody. That's why they put you in those positions. You're good at catching and eating biscuits. You're good at smelling whiffs of biscuits. When the biscuits are cooking, the whiff of the biscuit, the smell of the biscuit, the smell of the, of the bone that they're going to give you is enough of a benefit for you. That's why they choose you. Please don't get it twisted. But Joy Reid, um, her funny looking self was on CBS uh, host Stephen Colbert's, uh, uh, Colbert's show. And Stephen Colbert was talking about the fact that folks are complaining about how much a lot of stuff hadn't gotten done in the first year. Now, y'all know all of these things are set up. When media brings on other media, nothing is going to be shocking or new. All of it's pre-planned. They're trying to push something. They're trying to use and bring Joy Reid because she's a black looking woman. They're bringing her on this white man's show at night to try to hit up any uh, black audiences to calm down black folks because we've been trending big time and pushing back against the Democratic do nothing for black folk party. So they're trying to get her to reach that nighttime demographic, even though there's whispers that she's supposed to be losing her five uh, day a week show on MSNBC. Whispers. Allegedly. Talk black to me. Watch this. So Stephen Colbert asked her, is that a fair complaint by Joe Biden? Basically that he, um, you know, hasn't gotten a lot done and a lot of stuff is stalling. I'm paraphrasing. Now watch what Joy Reid's funny looking self says. She says, I think, you know, all presidents complain about the press. You know, President Obama didn't like the press. No one really likes the press when you work in politics because you're never going to get the coverage you want. But I think in one sense, Biden has a point. I think that the media, you know, I like to say that, you know, the media does have two biases, right? Change and conflict, right? So if we see change, we run uh, we run toward that. President Obama, that was an exciting sort of change in America's culture and politics. And the media will gravitate toward change in politics, uh, change in conflict, excuse me. But the media doesn't want to be in conflict necessarily with the president. But the idea of almost like a sports-like conflict between the parties is kind of what the media tends to go. She goes on. 
But she has the nerve to sit up here and defend Joe Biden to me he has a point. This is why you can't trust Joy Reid and them in the mainstream media because this is a game. Her and Stephen Colbert, their network decided, let's chit chat, let's bring Joy on, let's revive Joy, uh, and let's see if there's anything that we can do because the rumor is out there that we're going to remove her from our five-day-a-week show. Let's see what we can do to get her some traction. Let's see what we can do with Colbert at the same time kill two birds and one stone by trying to reach a black demographic at night. And to get a handy-dandy, dependable, black-looking Aunt Jemima to run interference for Joe Biden. Get a black looking woman to say, he's got a point about the media coverage because he's not getting nothing done. No, this is to assuage and to shut down black outrage. Black outrage that you all, our people, because I didn't do this, thank God. But some of our people were the ones that made sure that Joe Biden got in office even though we told you guys he was going to do absolutely nothing. He's been doing stuff for everybody else. He didn't tell the Asians to be patient when he gave them a, a transfer of $50 million to their community and gave them uh, political uh, laws and stuff. He didn't say to the LGBTQ community, y'all can wait. The global plague is... is, is, is takes precedent over your issues. He didn't say that to the other groups. He didn't say that to the white Afghanis that came over here. He only says it to black people, y'all can wait. He only told our people, I'm sorry, I can't do nothing for you, including making sure y'all can vote. And my problem with Joy, you don't enjoy calling out Joe Biden for his racist Zoom call when he says in part, and I'm paraphrasing, that his, his, his basically his anti-black uh, statements when he was on the line with uh, Reverend Al Sharpton, NAACP, Urban League, and the others. You don't hear her talking about that. You don't hear her taking uh, Joe Biden to task and asking him publicly, why would he sit there and say to the world that if we didn't vote for him and if we uh, voted for Trump, that we're not black? They're silent on those kinds of things but very loud about us supporting an open Mazungu white supremacist. These individuals are not B1, that is to say black first, they're D1, Democrat first. They will put their parties over their allegiance to us being a black person when there are white supremacists on both sides in both parties. That's why you look crazy defending this one over that one. The Democrats are nicer race, or racist. But they're the more dangerous when because you let your guard down and you put them in power, even though they have a history. It's not their mouth flapping that you need to be looking at, Black family. It's what have they done for us, not lately, but ever. In the 40 some odd years that you've given them the strong uh, percentages in voting. Talk Black to me. This is why we can't respect them, those line members. Black family, my name is Vicki Diller. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Vicki Show uh, right here on African Diaspora News Channel. Be sure to give the uh, uh, the show today a thumbs up uh, and share the broadcast. Follow me on Instagram at Vicki X Diller. Be sure to go to my website, catch the replay for some powerful, powerful webinars that are there for a limited time. You don't want to miss it. Go to my website at unpurposewithvicki.com. The link is below. That's unpurposewithvicki.com. Living in America as a black person, you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws for those, especially in the white community. In our book, Passive Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy, I take you through times in my life when I first started noticing white supremacy. We teach you how to recognize it, identify it, and also counter it in our book. This book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy. As a black American person, you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you. How you handle it, how you deal with it, it can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Pass Aggressive Racism and the System of White Supremacy today on Amazon.